there's always pain there. Mm -hmm. um, From the moment he wakes up to the, he goes to bed at night, I can tell he's in pain. Yeah, I mean, I could. And he doesn't take pain medication. I, I, it's like if I had, if I know I have something, like when we went to uh, trick or treating with the kids, it's like I didn't want to do too much throughout the day, just because we were gonna walk mm -hmm. at That's night, kind of thing. You know, it's like. If I do too much during the day, I'm not gonna be able to do that at night. Yeah. So that's I try to limit what I do when I can mm -hmm. to get things done later on. Yeah. So I won't be in that much pain. Well, it's not wheelchair accessible at all. I mean it's just like a regular As regular matter of fact, house. he might hurt himself if he was right in a wheelchair. Now, there's no reason to like I, I can't I can't have my wheelchair in there at all. Okay. How often do you use your wheelchair? I don't right now. He that's, can't. That's why I gotta limit what I do throughout the day. And that Imagine if he was able to use that wheelchair all day. Just no big deal, him with the kids, we're running around. Then he saved up all of his energy to go do these extracurricular things that make him feel productive and happy. Walking. And walking to somewhere, going, doing stuff. Even just going and dropping off our son. You know, he has to walk and drop him off, come back. It would give him the opportunity to save the best of himself for what he really needs to do. If you had a wheelchair accessible home, then what would that mean? That would actually then I won't have to be doing a whole lot of planning. Like if something comes up, I can just go do it because I know that, oh, hey, I didn't do this this morning. I didn't do that this morning. So, hey, I can go do this without even, you know, thinking about it. It's like, mm -hmm. oh, is it going to hurt? How much time are we going to be spending out there? What are we doing? Is it going to be like an uphill thing? There's stairs involved. The house that they're building, it's all going to be handicap accessible, like entryways, um, uh, countertops are going to be at, you know, low. everything's going to be lowered to where I can access it when I'm on my wheelchair, in my wheelchair.